from using technology better. You can see here I've been working on a choose your own adventure story with some awesome graphics from Assassin's Creed um, to help with the visual telling of it. I've got some interactive links that are on each of these that link to slides so that the students can create their own choose your own adventures. And a couple of quick things down the side. First of all, creative search. So let's have a look at creative search and how we can do that. So we can just go to insert here and we can go to insert image web search. Now the great thing about this aspect is that when we search for things, we know that they're going to be usable um, through copyright because that's the default with Google. Um, so we can see here all these fantastic images. So allowing our students to kind of search what they love and then build stories and narratives around them can be a really exciting thing going forward. So that was the first thing. That also makes it visually striking as well, um, which is really, really good. Favorite online games? Yep, anything that actually has some beautiful imagery and visuals there, which is great. And as you can see there, we create, basically, Choose Your Own Adventure is by creating a link, and then we link to slide. And we do that by going up the top here and pressing on our insert link. Now, a little tip from me is that we also need to link the um, we also need to link the actual image or the rest of the page because when we press present and we accidentally hit somewhere else on the page, by default it just goes to the next page. So we actually need to link this to slide one. We need to link uh, link this image here to slide two and so on. This one doesn't have a link, so let's do that. That's slide four, so we need to link that to slide four so that when, if they accidentally don't hit the interactive links to the Choose Your Own Adventure stories, they're actually remaining on that page. So it stops them going to a destination that we don't want them to go in the story. And you can see here visually, it's fantastic. We can create these amazing narratives around it and we can do that just by searching for really visual things, but also creating links that actually work and when we look at branching and we're looking at where the user might go um, little tip from me don't forget to actually link the background images and the other text box to that slide so they don't go off on that tangent paul hamilton here for using technology better